She sure is, Danny. That's right. We have the legend herself. Cherish Lombard in our kitchen today, and this is part of our Dale seasoning cook-off. If you if you missed the program yesterday, Joe made a wonderful steak in here on our cooktop using the seasoning, and Cherish cooks today, Danny cooks tomorrow. I'm a judge, Chastity Bird is a judge, and our general manager, Gary Yoder, is a judge, and we will determine, of the three, who made the best dish. So Joe made steak yesterday, Cherish. Mm -hmm. What are you making today? So today, I'm going to make sweet bourbon salmon okay. and sweet potato casserole. Now we're going to start with the sweet potato casserole because it takes a little bit longer. We're going to put that in the oven. The salmon you're going to want to marinate and you're going to want to marinate it for probably an hour to an hour and a half. Don't marinate it too long because again sweet bourbon salmon that bourbon will set in and you're going to have a thick taste. But I'm not really a fishy type person. Okay. I like the light white fish. So if you're not a fish flavor kind of person, probably not a salmon person. This takes that flavor out. So good. It makes the salmon really light, really flaky. Now again, sweet potato casserole, sweet potatoes, you know that I like to cook healthy. Yes, you do. There are some things today that aren't so healthy. You have to cheat every now and then. But overall, the base that we have, the sweet potatoes, I mean, full of B vitamins. You also have iron. You have vitamin D. So a lot of great reasons to eat sweet potatoes. So here, what I've done is I've taken four sweet potatoes. Okay. If you have large sweet potatoes, you can use three, but you're going to want to make about four cups. Bake them for about 45 minutes to an hour, and you're going to bake them on 400 degrees. Are these already baked? Yes. Okay. These are, these are, yes, Michael. Yes, <laughs> these are already baked. Well, I'm making sure they weren't just smashed. That's why I wanted to verify that they have, in fact, been baked. Remember, I'm a judge. I have to judge you on all this stuff. That's right. You're not cooking, so exactly. I can't blame you. Okay, so you're going to bake them. Then you're going to pull them out, let them cool, okay. pull the skin off, and then mash them. Now, if you have a potato masher, awesome. If you don't, fork, spoon, just fine. So this is an easy recipe. Anybody can do it, but it does take a lot of time. Okay. So again, the bourbon needs to marinate. This needs to cook 45 minutes to an hour. All right. Okay, so what we're going to do is we have our mashed sweet potatoes, four of them here, and what we're going to add to that, we're going to have a half cup melted butter. That usually makes everything taste better. <laughs> As Honey Boo Boo says, butter makes everything better. <laughs> We had to drop some boo-boo in here today. Why not? Now, uh, just a curious question. I'm probably jumping mm -hmm. the gun, but where will we add the Dale seasoning in? Once you have, every, like, right at the very end? or Dale seasoning is already in the semen, which okay. is marinating in the fridge. You don't right. want to take that out. So I'll let you know in the next segment how we're going to go over okay. and how we're going to put all the Dales in. Now, you have that. We also want to do... A third cup evaporated milk, and I'm trying not to drop this since I have butter on my hands. Um, you want me to help you? Please, if okay. you could open that. Yeah, I don't no want problem. to drop it. There we go. Got Very it. nice job, Michael. Yay. See Michael helping out in the kitchen. So again, a third cup evaporated milk, and this is you're gonna buy it in the can. Okay. You don't want the skim milk. You don't want to skimp on this part because this is making it taste really, really good. Then to that, you're going to have. Um, let's see, a cup of white sugar. All right. Okay. Our bowl's getting kind of full here, I'm right? I'm noticing that, yes. All right. And then we're going to do, let's go ahead and do the cinnamon. A half teaspoon of cinnamon. And, of course, you need your little handy-dandy measuring devices. These are <laughs> always great. Can't have enough of these in the kitchen. I actually have two sets. W wasn't it you yesterday who always said it's the best chefs who will not use measuring tools? They just use a little sprint of this, just, you know, a little when, sprinkle of that. When you're cooking, um, like with the salmon, a lot of times, um, what I'm doing, actual dishes. Okay. So steak, salmon, chicken, pork. I don't measure out. Now, okay. when I'm doing something that's sweet, and of course, if I'm doing it on TV for you guys, <laughs> I want to make sure that I measure it out correctly so you know how to make this at home. But we're mixing all of this together, okay? And the final ingredient that we're going to have is love. Love. Well, there's already yeah. a lot of love in this. Okay. We're going to add two eggs. All right. Okay. If they're going to fit in my bowl, I tried to That's bring true. You're, a... This bowl is, I mean, if you can, I know the depth perception is kind of off on TV, but believe me, this thing is almost to the, uh, to the brink. Yeah. Well, you know, we're going to make something good and we're going to, when we do it, we do it big. Yes, we do. That's how we do. That's how we roll on Studio 10. That's exactly. why, that's why we air twice, once at eight and once at 11. I was going to uh, show <laughs> off my fancy uh, cracking the egg with one hand trick, but I decided to 
save that for another day. Well, I am, uh, and you're familiar with this, Cherish. Our uh, producer, Allison, loves to say the word wrap, and I'm getting that now. So in our next segment, what are you going to show us? So in the next segment, we are going to make the topping okay. for the sweet potato casserole, and we're also going to start on the salmon. Fantastic. Sound we'll, good? Uh, we'll check in with Cherish. I'm looking forward to giving this a taste because i got to stay neutral just like I did with Joe. And uh, we'll check back in here in the kitchen in a little while. Danny. All right, we're back in the kitchen with Cherish making a sweet bourbon salmon and sweet potato casserole. What are we going to do next? Yeah, okay, this is very healthy on one side because sweet potatoes have so many vitamins and your salmon has so many vitamins. Now, I will say that when you look at the recipe on fox10tv.com, you're going to see that we are using a good bit of sugar. Things. When I make this at my house, I substitute Splenda. Right. And Splenda makes a brown sugar. So what we're going to do now, we finished the actual base for the sweet potato casserole. So now let's do the topping. And okay. here I have a cup of light brown sugar. And I also have a half cup all-purpose flour. Okay. Now to that, I'm going to add a third cup butter. All right. And if you want to use margarine, you can do that. If you want to use, I can't believe it's not butter, whatever you prefer, totally fine. You can do that. And to that, we are also going to add a cup of chopped pecans. And this is just going to be the topping. We're going to send some of the butter in there and make sure we get all that to hold it together. Now, this we're just going to mix together. And, Danny, would you mind stirring that sure, together? Sure, absolutely. Just stir it until it gets a consistency that's going to look almost like a praline. Okay. And it tastes kind of like a praline, too. It's super yummy. Now comes the Dale seasoning. We have the salmon. And let me just say, when you go get your salmon, it's the toughest part is probably filleting the salmon, skidding the salmon. I'm sure if you ask the guys at Fresh Market or wherever you go very nicely, they'll do it for you. I learned the hard way, but next time I will ask them to do it for me. So what we have in the marinade, these two pieces of salmon, fresh salmon, you're going to add two tablespoons of Dale's. Oh, I'm going to move that. Okay, there it is. Two <laughs> tablespoons of Dale's, and today we're using the low-sodium Dale's. You also add a fourth cup pineapple juice. You're going to add two tablespoons of brown sugar and one tablespoon of bourbon. Don't go overboard because they will end up tasting like bourbon. Mm. You're going to put in a little pepper, some garlic powder, and then once you mix all that together, you're going to put in the vegetable oil. You want these to sit in your refrigerator covered for about an hour to an hour and a half. Again, don't leave them longer than that unless you really like bourbon because that flavor will set in. Then you're going to put your stove. That looks really good. Okay. You're doing nice. All right, thank you. You're going to put your stove top on medium to medium high heat, and you want to cook each, or you want to cook the salmon each piece about five to seven minutes on each side. Now, if you want to turn them every couple of minutes, just to make sure they're cooked thoroughly, but that's the main thing. Just cook the salmon thoroughly. Now, with your leftover marinade, because you want to leave about this much left over, so not too much. Can you see that? Is that pretty visible? Not too much, but just enough to get that consistency back together and stir, 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 because that oil is going to set on the top and it's going to separate. So you want to make sure that you get all of it back together. Now, as you're cooking, if you have something that you can brush the salmon with, great. Brush this leftover on the salmon, or you can just spoon it over the salmon. So we're going to put the mixture Danny made on top of the sweet potato casserole. We're going to put that in the oven. We have our oven preheating 350, and we're going to do that for about 30 minutes. And then when we come back, we'll see how all of it turns out. This smells so good, Terrence. Thank you. I hope it tastes good. I think it will. It smells delicious. All right, it's the magic moment. Cherish is done with her sweet bourbon salmon dish. It looks good. It looks yes. great. Thank you. Now, all you have to do is put the finishing touches, and finishing touches just include some chives. These are just fresh, organic chives. Pick these up at Publix. You can get them probably any supermarket, just like these. Cut them up. Um, actually, for two pieces of salmon, I used four chives. And it just adds a little bit of uh, punch, I'll say, to the salmon because you are going to have that bourbon taste, the sweet taste. 
So this just kind of gives it a little something extra. So it makes it pretty. I love pretty food. Oh, well, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we are going to, and of course this is made with the Dales that we use the reduced sodium to cook this, and it's a sweet bird. And we have this recipe on our website, fox10tv.com. It is on the Studio 10 page. Now, man, this oven is tall. I've never realized how tall it is. Mm. To go with it, I made, I'll turn this guy off, a um, sweet potato casserole. Now for this, you're gonna cook your sweet potatoes in advance, then you're gonna let them cool, you're gonna mash them up, you're gonna need about four cups, you're gonna put all kinds of good stuff in it, then you're gonna make a topping, put the topping on, bake it together. This part, you probably wanna do, well, we did it first today, but what you're going to want to do is start with the salmon recipe if you want to make this at home tonight, because your salmon needs to marinate for about an hour to an hour and a half just to get that good flavor and get that mm. fishy salmon flavor removed from it. Not a fishy kind of flavor girl. So if you don't like that, I think you're going to like this. Try it out. See see what you think. If you don't like it, you can email me, cherish, fox, cherish lombard at foxandtv.com. Tell me it was terrible. Or if you liked it and you made it, love to hear those emails too. <laughs> and this is super, super yummy. You just add this to the side. It complements just perfectly. Awesome. So the judges are going to be tasting this soon. We have some video of our judges tasting Joe's dish from yesterday. There's Michael and Chastity tasting it now. What do they think? Oh, it looks like they made poker faces. <laughs> exactly. It's a poker face. <laughs> All right, so they're going to taste today, too, and then tomorrow, Danny's going to be cooking and still undetermined what you're going to make. Um, it'll probably be the chicken breast. Okay, chicken. So at the end <laughs> of our cooking segments, we'll let you know who made the best dish, according to our judges, with Dale seasoning.